Have you seen this video of the second largest aquarium in the world? It's been popular on many different sites. It's beautifully framed and pretty neat, especially in high resolution. It's the Okinawa Chirami Aquarium in Okinawa, Japan. As the second largest in the world, I wondered, what's the largest? The Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta claims itself as the world's largest with 8 million gallons of water. The aquarium contains the largest collection of giant grouper, potato grouper, humphead wrasse, tarpon, giant trebly, batfish, sawfish, black tip reef sharks, and wobgong sharks ever in an aquarium. Also large is Godzilla, but not really. As you can see, this monster-sized comparisons chart gets right to the difference in size of monsters in the movies. From Cloverfield, it was the biggest monster with a little budget that has had the largest size. On that chart, that is. Clearly the sandworms from June were excluded. Similar in looks to colossal terrestrial annelids and sea lamprey, the Shai Halud work their way through the Arrakis desert, worshipped for being godlike. But they will eat you. But forget this chart, these beasts are regularly a quarter of a mile long. One sighting has recorded a worm half a league in length. That's 2,778 meters, almost two miles. I'm just saying. People have been reporting that the ISS, which is about a football field long, is spectacular to see these days from Earth. And for the next several days, for those who have missed it, you can refer to this chart. I know what you're thinking. How does the ISS size up? At 107.4 meters long, the ISS is the largest space station ever built, that we know of. But it's smaller than the USS Enterprise, the Death Star, and the New Molly, a bioengineered Texas-sized wingless ship which can destroy entire planets with a single blast. I'm just saying. Largest thing? A black hole 100,000 tredograms big, equivalent to about 50 billion suns. Say some, say others. Seen today from 12 billion years ago, a giant blob structure 200 million light years wide, likely a cluster of galaxies. But is there really such a thing as just any one thing? Or is it all just an illusion? And does it matter? No!